We're also following a cold case that's haunted the city of Philadelphia for more than 60 years. The case is known as the boy in the box. Authorities identifying the four-year-old boy found inside that box as Joseph Augustus Zarelli on Thursday. In 1957, his battered, emaciated body was found stuffed inside of a cardboard box in a wooded area. And Kelsey Kernstein is here with why this break is giving renewed hope to finding justice. Kelsey? Yeah, Adrian. so this is a major breakthrough for this unsolved murder case 65 plus years later. It's played the community and the nation for decades. Still today, though, Philadelphia police say they don't know who the killer is or whether he or she is still alive. Now, investigators say it wasn't until revolutionary DNA testing and genetic DNA, genealogy that the boy in the box, also known as America's unknown child, now has a name. He has now been identified as Joseph Augustus Zarelli. Now, he was just four years old when he was found murdered in February of 1957 in Northeast Philadelphia. He was left beaten, wrapped in a blanket, and left in a cardboard box near a wooded area of town. A local college student finding his body and contacting authorities. Now, investigators say through the years, they have tried x-rays, footprints, hair comparisons to try to identify the boy's identity. But it wasn't until new 2017 DNA technology that they could identify and finally name him. We're going to filter through each and every one of those tips. But, but in, in that avalanche, there might be a diamond in the rough. I'm hopeful that there's somebody who was in their, in their mid to late 70s, possibly 80s, who remembers that child. Now, police say they have contacted the boy's family, saying his parents are not alive, but his siblings are. However, police are not willing to name them. Now, police say this, this means that one part of the case is closed, but of course, other parts of this case are now open. Who is the killer? What was this boy's life like? How exactly did he die? We know he was beaten, but when did that happen? Mm -hmm. So many questions. What a sad story, yeah. too, uh, yeah. for that family, wherever they are. Yes. Thank you, Kelsey. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.